In today's video I want to cover crit rate versus crit resistance. A lot of people have been getting confused with how crit rate and crit resistance actually works. This video will be mainly focused on a document that I've written up explaining how crit rate and crit resistance actually works, the formula behind it and the calculations for each crit resistance and the crit rate that you have, along with some notes and how Analysis Master works. Most people know that bosses have crit resistance, but they don't know how much crit resistance the boss actually has. This video by Vash covers the boss's crit resistances pretty well, showing you throughout the video what crit resistance each boss has, and I'll have that linked in the description below. In his old video with Haley, he said to not use skill insight, as he assumed that there was a crit rate ceiling, and having a certain amount of crit rate will give you diminishing returns. This information is false, as the crit resistance works completely different, and is always applied to your crit rate, regardless of how much you have. He did correct this in his newest video, and I'll have both of those linked in the description as well, as the information is still good, especially for the crit resistances on bosses. This is really good information, and I would like to commend them for taking the time to actually go through all the bosses and test this. I personally think that when you go to the Void and Intercept battles, each boss should tell you what crit resistance they have, as this would allow for more accurate information. So if Nexon adds that, that would be great. But for the time being, we can use Vash's video where he goes over the crit resistances for the bosses. Now, when calculating effective crit rates, this formula here is used to determine how much crit rate is reduced by the enemy's crit resistance. So this is what we use to calculate the total crit rate that we have. I had all this information two weeks ago but I just didn't bother putting it into an actual document until I seen other people posting about crit rate. So the formula we use to calculate the total crit rate when we're fighting a specific colossi is crit rate times 1 minus crit rate resistance. This formula is multiplicative where the crit resistance reduces the crit rate by a certain percentage. So for the first calculation, say for instance if we have 75% crit rate on your descendant or weapon, we will then turn the 75% into a decimal to make this calculation more simple. And then the crit resistance, for this example we're using 25%. Each boss has a different crit resistance, so you want to change this number depending on what crit resistance each boss has. But for this example we use 25, so we get 0 0.25. Then we do 1 minus crit resistance, and our crit resistance is 0 0.25, so we get 0 0.75. And then we simply multiply our crit rate, which is here, 0 0.75 times 0 0.75, and this gives us 0 0.6525. This means that with 75% crit rate and a 25% crit resistance, the total crit rate that we can do against this boss is 56.25. I then do the calculations for 100% crit rate, but this percentage can be changed to whatever percentage crit rate that you have. So in the actual game, if you open your inventory and press up, you can see your crit rate. On the weapon, I have 30.7, and on my character, I have 19.23 and you would use that value to calculate your total crit rate against certain bosses. So with 100% crit rate our decimal number is 1 and then the crit resistance is 0 0.25 and then the formula is the exact same again so we do 1 minus crit resistance the crit resistance is 0 0.25 which gives us 0 0.75 so if we multiply the crit rate of 100% by 0 0.75, the crit resistance, so we do 1 times 0 0.75, this will give us 0 0.75, which means the effective crit rate is 75%. This means with 100% crit rate and 25% crit resistance, the resulting total crit rate will be 75%. This means that having 100% crit rate is still preferable, even if you don't crit 100% of the time. I also went over the calculations for Analysis Master and made a more simple guide for this. The person responsible for this is Surreal. He has a very good video covering Analysis Master where he tested the crit resistances with the Analysis Master mod. This Analysis Master mod does minus 25%, but this mod is multiplicative and does not take away the full 25% of the crit resistance from the Colossi. So for this example, let's say the Colossi have a crit resistance of 25%. This mod lowers the resistance by 25%, but this doesn't mean it takes away the 25%. This just means 25% of 25%. And this is completely dependent on how much resistance the boss has. So 25% of, let's say 30%, or 25% of 25%. Now the math behind it is written here. 25% becomes the decimal of 0 
0.25 and the mod reduces the resistance by 25% of the current resistance. So if the boss has 25% resistance, 25% of that resistance is 0.25 times 0.25 and we get both of these numbers from the mod and the resistance which gives us 0.0625 or 6.25%. Then if we subtract from the original resistance, so 25% minus 6.25%, this gives us 18.75%, which means we're still left with 18.75% resistance. So after applying the analysis master mod, the boss's critical hit resistance is reduced from 25% to 18.75%. This means that your critical hit resistance is only reduced by 6.25%. Here's a couple of notes that I added to this as well if you wanted to go over them. I've also seen people confused saying that if the boss has 25% crit resistance then there's no point in having the extra 25% crit rate. This is incorrect as having 75% crit rate doesn't mean that you'll be unaffected by the boss's 25% crit resistance. So having 100% crit rate is still preferable. I also wanted to mention that having more players in your party doesn't change the claw size critical resistance. The critical resistance remains the same even if you're playing in solo or group play. I'll have this document linked in the description below along with Vash's updated video and Surreal's video on Analysis Master. You should definitely go subscribe to these two. I also wanted to mention that I'm working on two Enzo builds right now. One is for Focus Fire and the other one is for Support Firearm Enhancer. If you're interested in any of those videos, I'd recommend sticking around. I also have other videos covering different descendants as well. But that's all for today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helped the channel a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And you should definitely go subscribe to Vash and Serial.